What is going on guys? This video today is going to be yet another unboxing video. Today we have a box coming from good old Ringside Collectibles, everyone's favorite. Um, I actually took advantage of their Easter sale that I think is still going on. I, th I think it started last week. I assume it's still going on for probably a couple weeks um, up until Easter, whenever that is. I think it's like middle of April. I don't know. But point is, I took advantage of their Easter sale. I only got one thing, as you can see. Um, so I figured I'd open this up and then I'll show you guys me putting this said figure into my display case back there, which um, has been updated. I haven't really shown off yet. And I don't even know if I'm really going to be able to fit this figure because it's super packed in there. But, you know, we'll try our best. So I figured, let me open this up, show you guys what it is, take it out of its box, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah, this figure in here, like I said, I took advantage of their Easter sale that's going on right now. It wasn't a huge discount. Um, I think normally this figure is probably like 20 bucks online. I think I got it for like 17 or some shit. Um, then I also used the discount code, so I got another 10% off. Uh, the point is, you know, I've just been wanting to pull the trigger on this figure for a while. So I figured I'd just go ahead and buy this figure online. I already got it opened up, but I'll show you guys what we got inside so there you go so we have the survivor series elite jeff hardy this thing came in uh mint condition even though it's coming out of the box anyway but yeah elite series uh survivor series uh, i guess this is this year's or last year's now 2019's uh survivor series series um and, you know two years ago 2018 there was a series that had aj uh, aj styles bobby Roode, and i believe alexa bliss and then this year no last year point is um, yeah, this series that came with Alicia Fox, Jeff Hardy, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Don Morocco. So not interested in any of the other ones, but wanted to pick up this Jeff Hardy. One, because Jeff Hardy, I like it a lot of his figures. There's already three in that cabinet back there. But on top of this, this Jeff Hardy is based, as you can see here, off Survivor Series 2006, which was in Philadelphia. And I was actually at that event as a nice young little boy. Um, but yeah, so, you know, brings back some nostalgia. So I wanted to pick up this Jeff since it's uh, depicting that actual show. And plus just this whole time period, you know, Jeff came back to WWE in 06. And this was, you know, kind of the current look he had going on on Raw. I wish this came with the Intercontinental Championship from that time. Um, so I can display it with that because he was the IC champ um, at this show and during that time period. But if anybody's got an elite, uh, or a, not elite, but a Mattel Intercontinental Championship, the one from, I forget when it was introduced, uh, I don't know, point is the one that was going on around this time, the Ruthless Aggression one, let's just say. Hey, if anyone's got that Intercontinental title, they're looking to send it my way, hit me up so I can display it with, uh, with this figure. But yeah, awesome figure. Real love the side artwork here in the picture on the back, but I'm going to go ahead, cut the camera, get this out of the box, and then uh, I'll bring you guys over to the display case and we'll try to find room for this Jeff Hardy. All right, so before we jump over to the display case, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a closer look at this jeff hardy real good head scan it's got the hardy boys logo on the back of the cutoff jacket i already swapped the uh, hands out for the jeff hardy you know posed hands but yeah really cool figure so let's go ahead and throw them in the case all right so here's kind of an angled view of i guess you could say like the more legends shelf obviously still got some current guys on here but as you can already see um from the side view we got already three jeff hardys and three matt hardys in here um we got some risers in the back but they're only two steps so i have two basically you know somewhat two rows miscellaneously placed um on the actual glass here but it's very packed so i don't know how i'm gonna you know maneuver this jeff hardy in. i already had to do a bunch of maneuvering the other day to put this new booker t in there um so i don't know let's just you guys are just gonna kind of watch me as i attempt to figure out how to fit this new jeff hardy in there and also knock knock the camera over at the same time First impression, you OPN, we should be closer to friends, if you OPN, engaging is on my agenda, request my chariot to get ya, the doors OPN, take the hot road and hop in, first impression, you OPN, we should be closer to friends, 
If you OPN, uh, engaging you on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors OPN, uh, take the hot road and hop in. Uh. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up a smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me. She said that she the lonely yes. All right, so here's what the finished product of this shelf is looking like. Uh, we've rearranged the top here for the front. You know, pretty much all Hardy boys. And then you have Mick Foley and Batista back there. But put the new Jeff Hardy right there. So that's what the, uh, I guess, legend shelf is looking like. And then I had to demote the Undertaker and Big Show, those two legends, to kind of the current guy shelf. Let me adjust here, but so we can get a better camera angle. But yeah, I guess the current guy shelf, you got like, you know, NXT guys and obviously just, you know, Rollins, Reigns, you know, there's Neville back there. There's a King Sheamus from years ago. But like, yeah, it's a little bit of a miscellaneous, you know, old school Bobby Lashley and stuff. But, you know, mostly current guys. So I had to move them down there. As you can see, it's completely packed and then this uh, shelf as well is completely packed and then you know the Ray shelf with some rivals and whatnot and then more rays up top but yes yeah, so that's where we fit the jeff hardy i desperately need a new detoff cabinet um because this one is completely packed um even if i get you know some more risers that's only gonna you know make it even more packed so i definitely want to get 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 another detoff cabinet soon because the collection's not going to stop growing you know, only the displays are going to keep growing so definitely got to do that soon but Really liking how the Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardys uh, are looking like. Eventually, they're just going to need their own shelf because there's three Matt Hardys here, four Jeff Hardys. There's obviously, you know, Matt Hardy AEW figures eventually, maybe if he ends up signing. I'm sure there's going to be more Jeff Hardy figures. There's ones, there's elites that I, you know, don't have that I want to go back and get. So that's just going to keep growing. And yeah, the display is going to keep growing and my wallet's going to keep uh, losing money. But point is, it's all good because we fit them in here and the Detoff. And the WWE elites are looking good. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more unboxings, more me messing with my displays in videos instead of me just doing it in my own time and then showing you later. If you want to see, you know, kind of live footage of me messing with my displays, whether my action figures, my pops, or anything else like that, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be, be sure to do more videos like that. Got some LED lights in the room now. So it's really starting to look good. I'm really hooking it up in here. So a room tour video is coming. Um, I know I keep saying that, but I'm really just waiting to completely go around my room with these LEDs so it looks more finished. And then I'm going to do that room tour and stuff. But that's coming. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.